Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can import one layer at a time from your Photoshop documents into After Effects. So if you just need to pull a graphic from a Photoshop file, but you don't want to import the entire Photoshop document into After Effects, here's how you can choose individual layers to import into After Effects. Here is an open Photoshop document. For this demo, I just want to import the logo layer from this Photoshop document into After Effects. And just a couple of notes about the Photoshop document, which will make more sense when we import into After Effects. But first, if we look at the logo layer, you can see there is a drop shadow layer style. If I press Command or Control T to bring up Free Transform, and I bring up the Info panel, I can see that the layer size is 601 by 468 pixels. And if I press Command or Control A to select the entire document, I can see the size of the document is 1920 by 1080 pixels. So first you wanna save your Photoshop document as a .psd file. So go to the file menu, go to save as, I'm gonna save it to my desktop, save it as a Photoshop file, click save. You are now working in After Effects and you want to import a layer from the Photoshop document. To import, you can go to the file menu, import file, or just double click in an empty space in the project panel that will open up a finder or an explorer window. Select the .psd file, go down to where it says import as, and you're gonna choose footage. Footage is the only option out of these three where you can choose individual Photoshop layers to import. I'll keep Create Composition and Photoshop Sequence unchecked and then click Open. So Import Kind is the same menu as the Import As, so we're gonna keep it as footage. Merge Layers, that would import the entire Photoshop document with no layers, so we don't want that. We're gonna tick the radio button for choose layer, click the drop down, and now you can select which layer from Photoshop that you want to import into After Effects. And tip, the better you label your layers in Photoshop, the easier it's going to be to select the layer. I'm gonna choose the logo layer. Normally I would choose the second option, but I'll keep it on merge just so you can see what it does. Footage dimensions, you have two choices, and I'm gonna show you both layer size and document size. And these sizes are referring to the layers bounding box in Photoshop. I'll start with layer size. This is going to import the Photoshop layer the exact dimensions as it is in Photoshop. I'll click OK. If I drag it onto this composition, you can see the bounding box is the exact size of the logo. And now let's import as document size. So I'll double click to open up the import dialog box, select the .psd file, import as footage, click open. I'll choose the layer, only this time, I'm gonna select the character layer. Now, if I wanna make sure that this character is in the exact same position when I bring it into After Effects, importing as a document size could be useful. I'm gonna make sure that document size is selected, I'll click okay. And now when I drag in that layer, you will see the bounding box is taken up the entire composition. I'll hold the shift key to make sure it stays in the center. When I let go, the character is in the exact same position. One more thing that I want to address. We chose to merge layer styles into footage. The drop shadows are visible on both the logo and the character, but if you twirl open the layers, you will not find the drop shadow effect. So if you want to edit or remove a Photoshop layer style, we'll just right click on one of the Photoshop layers, go to open, edit, original. I'm gonna turn off the visibility of the drop shadow on both the logo and the character layers. Then I'm gonna save the Photoshop document by going to file, save, and now when I jump back into After Effects, like magic, the drop shadows are gone. And if I want to reapply them in After Effects for more control, I can just go to the layer, layer styles, drop shadow. And that is how you can choose layers to import from Photoshop to After Effects. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.